China's hunger for commodities like grains from Brazil seems endless, and shipping them halfway around the globe is a task that demands infrastructure and investment. Itaqui is one of the busiest ports in Brazil, and as demand keeps growing, new investment is needed. And such growth has a lot to do with China. A new port is now in initial stages of construction here in São Luís, the capital of the state of Maranhão. It's an investment of almost $500 million from a consortium led by Chinese construction company CCCC. The plan is to have it operational in the next three years. The port will have a bridge that runs one kilometer into the sea, so ships three at a time will have a depth of at least 20 meters to dock. The port's CEO says this is a prime location for China's logistics needs. This is uh, the northern arch uh, of Brazil. And from here, you have, uh, you're very close to the Panama Canal. You're very close uh, to uh, the east coast uh, of uh, the United States. You're close uh, to Europe. And uh, you're also uh, closer through Panama Canal uh, to reach China. The port of São Luís is the most advanced Chinese infrastructure investment planned for Brazil's northeast, the country's poorest region. The vice governor of the state of Maranhão says the region is eager for more Chinese investment. The Chinese have what we need. They have resources, technology and are interested in expanding their business around the world. So I think this is good for everybody. For us, this is important as it creates jobs, increases wages and improves people's quality of life. This project allows the Chinese to increase their supply of raw materials. They are our biggest customers for iron ore, soy and animal protein. The project will also put them closer to big consumer markets. However, big infrastructure projects often cause local disruptions. In the case of the port of São Luís, the company and the state are still dealing with a traditional community, the Cajueiro, which have been resisting eviction. It's annoying for us. We don't really know what's going to happen to us. I live in a very small house. I wanted to enlarge it, but not now, because I'm afraid of being evicted. In the port of San Luis, construction work is picking up speed, and in a few years, ships will be docking and taking Brazilian products to China and the rest of the world, while bringing in the imports the country needs. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, San Luis do Maranhão, Brazil.